Howdy folks, welcome back. Stopped at my dad's shop this morning. He's got this old Alice Chalmers WD-45. I guess the guy dropped it off here. He bought it on an auction. It didn't run. He did some work to it. Still wouldn't run. He finally had enough and brought it over here. So My dad's kind of busy. He said if I wanted to work on it, have at it. So I'm just setting up to do some basic tests on it here. I don't know what's wrong with it. Probably the carburetor's messed up, but we're gonna do the basic checks on it first. Uh, basically, it just cranks over and it, does, it doesn't start. I did get one little pop out of it this morning, but it's, uh, it's totally dead now. I did some basic checks on the distributor. The rotor is turning, and he does have the firing order correct. This is a six volt positive ground system. So once we get the tractor running, we're also going to convert it over to 12 volt negative ground, which we're all more familiar with. So anyway, we're going to check for spark here real quick. Yeah. Alright, so that's what it does. It gives one pop and then it won't, won't keep running, but it definitely does have spark. So we're probably going to be focused more on a fuel issue than a ignition issue. At least that's my hunch. So your classic updraft carburetor over here. I don't know what it is. Probably a Zenith. Yeah, so it tried to run there. We've either got a major timing problem or there's something wrong with this carburetor. Hmm. Wonder if this venturi is in upside down. That could be a classic there's your problem lady. I don't know. I'll have to check the book here real quick. So typical carburetor stuff. Looks like we're pretty dirty here on the high speed jet. So clean that out. I think the venturi was in there correctly and then the float valve here the needle is pretty worn so I'll see if I can find another one of those in my dad's stash in there and then the bowl gasket looks pretty good too so we should be able to clean this up and just put it back together doesn't look too bad but yeah this is that's not good so Ready to go back together. I couldn't get the bowl quite as clean as I wanted it, but I think it'll be all right. And then this baiting, the flange here, the surface at the top where the bowl gasket goes, it's just terribly beat up on both parts. So I stoned that down as good as I could. And I scrounged around and found a little bit better needle here for our float valve. So that one's, yeah, this one's pretty worn. The other one will be better. Couldn't find one with a rubber tip. I like the ones with the rubber tip, but just couldn't find it. So we'll stuff all this stuff back in here and see how it goes.
I think there's a timing issue. I'm gonna just check number one here for top dead center, so I'll just make sure that we're on compression. And there should be a mark somewhere on the All right, so cylinder number one, top dead center, compression stroke, but the points are open. So turn the distributor until we get, I guess we can see if the pointer's lined up to where. Well, yeah, we need that's to the be. first thing. Put that on first. And then. So our rotor and the cap. And that is right. So that's lined up with cylinder one. So that. Yeah, that's right. But the timing is way off. Right. So we need to loosen here. And turn this over here. But see, he hasn't done anything there, I don't think. So how could that have moved? Well, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe that drive is bad in there. But I don't know that. Yeah, the gears are back here, so we probably won't be able to see it. Uh, or, you know, maybe they had the points set real wacky. Or maybe the shaft is bad in this. A lot of times what happens, there's a, I think the gear in that, I'm not real sure where the shaft comes the other way, but the cover there we could take off and probably tell us if there's something wrong. I think better than that, let's just get it back with the adjustment and get it to run and then see if it goes out again. the carburetor apart so we're gonna have to set all that stuff oh yeah i might still set it so how far do you think we moved that distributor oh hell a long way it's probably 20 degrees 20 degrees yeah i bet we changed the timing 20 degrees yeah the distributor probably only moved half of that about 10 degrees did you spray through those low speed jets yeah okay seemed i didn't really find much wrong with no, the carburetor there probably isn't anything wrong that timing was why well, it wouldn't run <laughs> Oh, the gas is turned off. Oh, well, that might explain it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <Durr>. <laughs> <laughs> that gives it another world. <laughs> see all that stuff in the set of a bowl? Yeah, I see it coming out of there. <laughs> all right. Yeah, now, now you're ready. So we're thinking that there might be a bad drive pin in the distributor here because it doesn't seem like it's keeping in time. So we're going to check it again real quick. This is the distributor drive off that tractor. I went ahead and pulled it off. We were trying to find the problem and it was not what we expected it to be. So there's a gear down here, right here, and it drives the distributor. Distributor comes in right here. So we thought we were going to find a bad pin, a sheared pin or something. There are no problems in the distributor. This thing looks pretty good. There are no sheared keys or pins in the distributor drive. But what we found, this nut right here that holds this helical gear on this shaft 
was a little bit loose. And what we're thinking is it was allowing the helical gear to move back and forth just a little bit on that shaft. And, you know, if it was just a straight, you know, bevel gear, or whatever, it wouldn't be a problem. But because it's a spiral type of a gear, any little movement of this gear back and forth is going to affect the timing. So, not 100% sure, but we're, we're thinking that was the problem. Uh, when I took it apart, the, the nut was definitely not tight. So, I'm going to pinch these ears a little bit on the, the lock nut here. And then we'll put a little bit of Loctite on it when we put it back together. But anyway, that's all we've really found. Uh, I had to make a new gasket for this distributor drive, and then we'll be able to put that back on. Uh, you ready? I guess so. Got fuel on. Should be on. Okay. Make a fire. I haven't touched the jets on the carburetor, it runs pretty good. It's freaking perfect. Let's see if it'll take a while, that's that'll roll tall. Okay. Cool. Good. We Mich beat it. Mission accomplished. Yep. So I, I set that shaft in there for five thousandths end play. I don't, I don't know if that's good or bad. That's, that's good. It works, doesn't it? It works, yeah. Yep. I'm just real sure that nut had backed off some, and we were getting this and this and this with the gear. Yeah, that sure seems like it. Yeah. So good. That's good. it. Yep. It runs. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, cut it off. It's close. I wish we could. Well, it seems to run good. We're trying to figure out how to set the timing. Because right now we're just doing it by ear, setting the timing for, for best throttle response. But we're trying to find a more scientific way. Ready?
Sounds good. Okay, let's do it. Let's get out there. I don't know. That ignition keeps dropping out. Okay, cool. Always well, thought it was a carburetor, not the carburetor. Thought it was the points, maybe it was. Ended up being the distributor. <clears throat> yeah, so the, the gear moving forward and backward in there was allowing the, the timing to change slightly and it just would not run that way. So, yeah, kind of cool. Not something you see every day. <laughs> 